Okay, everybody, we have seen you can use the quadratic formula to solve all quadratic equations. We've also seen that the answers can be two real rational solutions, one real rational solution, or two real irrational solutions. So we have one more option that can happen, one more scenario, and that is if we do not get a solution at all. If you look closely at the quadratic formula, it has in it the operation square root. And we've already learned you cannot square a negative number. So when we're working with the quadratic formula, if we get underneath that radical sign a negative number, we have to stop our calculation. And therefore, our answer would be no real solution. So let's look at the PowerPoint. Here is my quadratic equation. 2x squared plus 8 equals 0. I want to solve that using the formula. So it's already set equal to 0, and it's already in the correct descending order. So now I need my values at a, b, and c. a is always the coefficient in front of x squared. That's 2. b is always the coefficient in front of x. Well, we have a problem. There is no x in that equation. Well, if there is no x in that equation, no x's means there were 0 of them. And that's the value of b, 0. We know in algebra you would not write 0x. That means there's no x's. So if you're missing a term, the value is 0. c is the constant. The constant is 8. Let's substitute in. x equals negative b, the opposite of your b. Well, your b is 0. Does b have an opposite then? No. 0 is the only number on a number line that does not have an additive inverse, an opposite. We do not put a plus sign or a minus sign in front of 0. 0 is neutral. So there is no opposite of b, so we just put zeros. Plus or minus, square root. b again is 0, so I wrote 0 squared. Minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 8, over 2 times a, which is 2. So I substituted all my numbers into the formula. I'm going to start again underneath the square root. So I write x equals 0 plus or minus square root. I work the square part first. b squared, 0 squared is 0. I multiply my three numbers. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 times 8 would be negative 64 over 2 times 2. I'm still not done with the square root. I have to subtract. So when I subtract 0 minus 64 inside my square root, my radicand is negative 64. So now I have x equals 0 plus or minus square root negative 64 over 2 times 2. And I stop because I know my next step is to do the square root. But underneath the square root is negative 64. And I have the knowledge to know I cannot square root a negative number. There is no number times itself that makes negative 64. So if I can't work the square root part of the formula, I'm done. I can't finish the calculation. If you can't finish the calculation, you have no answer for x. And the way we say that is we have no real solution. We have no answer. Isn't that great? So sometimes when you're solving a quadratic equation using a quadratic formula, you will have no solution. That would have told me, even if I tried to factor that equation, I would not be able to factor it. That tells me if I tried to square root that equation, I would not be able to proceed with that either. That tells me all three methods fail. Okay, let's hit the whiteboard.